Hey Libras and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your bi-weekly for the first two weeks of February. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libras. This will not resonate with everybody, so please take what uh, fits and leave what don't. All right, oops. I wasn't ready for that. Okay, for those of you, uh, oh my goodness, that was an ugly shuffle. For those of you who are curious, I am using the Crystal Visions uh, for the main spread. I haven't quite decided what I'll use for your clarifier, but I will do uh, three cards of prediction using the After Tarot for uh, the first two weeks of February. So you can kind of have an idea of what spirit's predicting for you to for what to happen. So, all right, Spirit Guides and Angels. Please bring me all messages for our Libra friends for the first two weeks of February. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. All right. The Fool card is your first card out. Ooh, the Three of Swords. The Ten of Cups in reverse. The Five of Swords. The Eight of Swords. The hell happened, Libras? My goodness. All right, you're gonna bottom headed and shared is the nine of pentacles with the king of swords in the upright. There you are, at least you're in the upright, and the page of cups. Your guys' overall theme for the reading is the four of swords in reverse. Um, the next card out is the world. So, uh, major. Major life cycles are ending, and that would be quite apparent with the cards on on the table here. So, some tough energy we got going on here, guys. Just give me a second, and I will get my messages here. Okay. So, um, your guys' overall theme is the Four of Swords in reverse. There is a, a deep, deep need for healing right now. Um, you're kind of refusing to look at the wounds. You're refusing to deal with the hurt. And you're trying to bury them within. But um, when the snow melts, they're still going to be there. So, uh, it's time to take the much-needed time. Uh, to yourself, to focus on yourself, to, she's gripping that sword. You see, she's got the one in her hand. That's the truth. That's the truth of the three swords that stabbed her in the heart, um, what you have here in your current position. So sh the truth um, she's holding on to, but the three of swords um, are still there. And that's what you need to heal from. You need to heal your mind, body, and soul, um, which is what the three swords stand for. So it's time to take some rest and relaxation, relaxation, time to take time to yourself. Um, don't bury those wounds deep, um, because they're going to have to resurface sooner or later. So the time is now is what spirit is saying to, to heal, um, the wounds of this situation because there's a lot of heart rate right here. Um, guys is energy charity enters the nine of pentacles. Uh, being single, um, investing in yourself, um, learning to, I want to say tame the beast. And I don't know why, but, um, but this card is, uh, clarified with the king of swords. So you could have been the one that broke somebody else's heart as well, Libra. As we know, the energy goes vice versa. 
So um, with you in the upright here, you could have been the one that delivered the heartache um, because you're looking pretty good with the Nine of Pentacles here and the King of Swords in the upright. You took action. You delivered the truth. Um, and now you are single. You broke up with somebody is what I am hearing um, because they weren't giving enough. They weren't offering you enough. You needed more um, or you weren't prepared to offer enough for them. So um, you were wanting to invest in yourself. You were wanting to go after your goals, um, what you wanted to do. And you just, you couldn't offer this person um, all the love that they were needing, what they were wanting. So you, uh, you took action and you moved forward uh, without them is what I'm hearing. For some of you, this is also uh, that you are the one that needs to heal, but you're trying to cover up the fact that your heart is actually broken. You're taking a detached uh, perspective of this. You're taking, you're acting, you're detaching, so people can't tell how bad you're actually hurting. Let me get a clarifier. I'm gonna go with the Morgan Greer here. Um. In your guys' uh, past, you are coming from the fool. You did take a leap of faith with somebody. You did give them a chance. You did, um, you did, let's see why the fool is here. Or you wanted to take that leap of faith with somebody and, and it never happened. Why is the fool here for a Libra? Okay. So, with the leap of faith in your past, um, you, you were experiencing the downside of the wheel, um, because you, um, you had been put into a third party, or you had the third party, Libra, um, but either way, there was one too many people in this partnership. Um, so when you took that leap of faith, uh, you then ended up with a broken heart. You ended up being the one that has the three swords in, um, your chest. And like I said, this can go vice versa. So Libra, this could be, uh, your person's heart that you broke, but I'm going to, um, talk about it like it is you Libra. So I don't get confused myself. <laughs> so if it's not you and you're the one that broke up with somebody, just vice versa the energy, okay? But um, you took that leap of faith. And in that leap of faith, you experienced the downside of the wheel. Um, the You felt it was this karmic wheel. Uh, you fell off of it. Because of a third party situation, um, it, ended, it brought you to this place that you're currently in of broken heart, um, sadness, a lot of tears. Oops. I'm just going to take the two that flipped over here and putting the rest back. Okay. The, uh, three of swords here is being clarified by the five of cups and the three of swords. This is, this is a heavy depression. This is a lot of sadness, a lot of tears. I just instantly felt like I have to start crying. Um, this is this is sadness. This is depression. This is brokenheartedness to the extreme. You trusted somebody. You had been hurt in the past, and it took a lot for you to take this leap of faith with somebody new because of the hurt that you brought forward from the past relationship that you hadn't healed from. And now this person turned around and broke you in broke uh, your heart and stabbed you the way that it had done in the past is what I'm hearing. And you are just in tears. There's so much sadness here. So much sadness. Wow. This was, you thought this person was your dream come true. You thought this person was everything to you. You thought this was the real deal. And it ended up just being an emotionally exhausting relationship. Spirit's advice to you is to let it go, to let this cycle end. You will only experience more heartache the longer you hold on to the situation that is broken. 
Um, karma has a way of dealing us the same lessons over and over and over until we learn our lesson. So you could have gone through this exact same relationship before with the exact same ending, but you buried your heart. Remember I told you don't bury those hurts because it will come back up um, when the snow melts. That's what I, I meant. You buried your hurts from a relationship in the past that had a third party that you were brokenhearted from. You didn't heal from those. You buried them. And now here we are again with the karmic wheel. You didn't learn your lesson the first time around. You buried the hurts instead of healing them. And now here we are again in the exact same situation, getting your heart broken in the exact same way, but a different person. This is a different person. Same heartache, same betrayal, different person because you didn't learn your karmic lesson the first time. Let these wounds heal, deal with them, don't bury them, or the karma will keep dealing you the same relationship, but different people until you learn this lesson. Spirit's advice to you is to let this cycle end, let it go, let this broken relationship go. Why is the Ten of Cups here in your advice, Spirit? Got two cards here with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups in reverse. So you have to let this emotionally exhausting relationship go. And I'm hearing you can't hold on to this relationship and tell yourself that it's, it's something it's not. You are trying to make yourself believe that it is the Ten of Cups. Um, because you want it to be that, but it's not that. So don't allow your ego to talk yourself into a relationship that isn't what it is just because you want it to be, because this is heavy on you. It's weighing you down. It's so, it's making you so sad with the nine of cups in reverse. This is like your worst nightmare. You're feel like nobody's answering your prayers. You're feeling like nobody's hearing you. But spirit is hearing you and they are telling you it's time to close out this life cycle. This is the second time you have had the world at the bottom of your deck. It's time to end this heartache. It's time to end this cycle. It's time to allow it to be done and allow yourself to heal from it so you can move forward and no longer experience this extreme heartache. Your outside influences, people are, I mean, people are stabbing you in the back from every direction you turn. Um, you know, this, your outside influence, people could be talking about this situation. Your friends or family could have known about this cheating situation and they didn't tell you. So you feel betrayed because this is outside from you. <coughs> Excuse me. Why is the five of swords in the outside influence? Too many. Why is the five of swords? Whoa. There's the five of swords here. So many tears. I am like, I'm tearing up. I'm, goodness. I am so like sad right now. Um, yeah. So you have been betrayed in, before in the past. Um, from a commitment that you were in. Um, and here it is again. And you're you're being called to walk away. Um, sometimes nobody wins in this kind of battle. Every time nobody wins in this battle. It is winning at all costs, saying things that intentionally hurt you, saying things to make you um, feel bad about that you being the victim, like them flipping the script on you, like trying to make you think like it's your fault that this happened to you. Um, that this relationship failed because of something you did. So it's time to allow that cycle to end. Where this is headed, you're feeling trapped in your own thoughts. You're overthinking everything. You're over, you're thinking of the woulda, coulda, shouldas, the why me's. And what you need to do is untie yourself from this situation and walk away. Why is it with the swords here and uh, where this is headed? You're just, you're overthinking everything, Libras. And it's not healthy for you. Yeah. The eight of wands in reverse. 
Um, they could uh, block you in communication. They could not talk to you. They could just up and block you from all social media, um, not answer your text messages, your phone calls. Um, to me, the eight of wands is Cupid's arrow in the reverse. It's, it's not going to get any better. And it's only getting you caught up in your mind and feel, making you feeling trapped. The next step is, you know, the anxiety and the depression of the nine of swords. Um, it's just time to take that blindfold off and, and walk away from the situation. I hate to like be so negative, but these cards, I mean, you guys see the cards. There's not really a positive to this situation except for getting out. You knew that you should have listened to your intuition. Um, or no, I shouldn't say it that way. You knew what was going on deep down. You kept asking yourself, is this what's really going on? But talking yourself out of it, telling yourself, no, like I said, you were, you were trying to tell yourself it was something it wasn't because that's what you wanted it to be. And your inner voice was trying to tell you, trying to show you, um, you're not listening to your intuition. It's trying to, um, point you in the right direction. Why is the high priestess here in the overall, um, uh, outcome? And in the overall outcome, it's in the reverse. So you're not listening to it. You're trying to make it something it's not. Why is the high priestess here in reverse? This is just so sad. Once you allow these heels to, or these hurts to heal, it's going to be so much. You're going to feel so much better. Um, because the high priestess is being clarified by the queen of cups in reverse. You're not listening to your intuition that there is the person that you're dealing with doesn't have the love for you that you had hoped or that they did at one time. They're just emotionally drained and they're walking away from this commitment. Oh, I wish this was a more positive reading. I really do. Let's see what your guys' three prediction cards are. Libra, my heart goes out to you for, for real. Um, yeah, my heart goes out to you so much because this is some heavy, hard energy. This is fresh. This is this wound is just just fresh. Okay. So these three cards came out in reverse. I'm hearing. The after tarot, I don't usually read in reverse, but when they come out in reverse, I make, I make a point to point it out. Um, okay. Well, the first one that came out was the four of pentacles. So you are emotionally shut down. You're emotionally holding on tight to, uh, what you have left to invest, but death is right behind you. Um, it's, it's you're heading right for the five of pentacles is what I'm saying. Um, you have to deal with those emotions. You're holding it with the four of swords. You're holding them in. You're not, you're not dealing with them. You're burying them and you're about ready to be, um, uh, heading into the five of pentacles where you're going to feel all alone. Um, no, you're not going to have anybody to help you get through those feelings. So please let somebody in and help you allow those feelings to come out don't hold them in because I'm like for this person, I'm seriously like this is heavy energy and like heavy depression. So please talk to somebody. So you have somebody to talk to because in the five of pentacles, you feel abandoned like you have nobody, but there is somebody around wanting to help you um, get through this. Um, you thought this was a soulmate that, uh, ended up not being one, but you are going to find your true soulmate. That's why I read them. If they come out in reverse, I do read them that way, but they came out. So that means after all this bullshit that you get through, because what this person did you was bullshit. And if it's the other way around Libra, what you did to that person was bullshit, <laughs> but, um, you have to get through this and once you do, you do have the promise of your real soulmate coming in. So that's why I'm saying, please don't bury these hurts. Please don't go through this karmic cycle again. Please allow these to heal because this is what you have waiting for you. The real deal. 
the real deal with a lifetime commitment with somebody to spend the rest of your life with. You won't go through this again or this again or this again. If you take the time to heal now, this is the next relationship coming in for you. And, and the divine will bless you with a relationship that is from the heavens, that is heaven sent and that will withstand the test of time that you will be with for the rest of your life after you heal from this. But you have to um, allow yourself to deal with those emotions. Don't become emotionally unavailable. Let them out and let them die. You see the death card here or the death, uh, the Grim Reaper behind you. Let go of those hurt feelings. Let them out. Don't bottle them up. Allow the death to take them away so you can be released. And then you can allow the divine partner that is meant for you to come in. The soulmate energy. Somebody to build a solid foundation on with a home with, a family with, and um, a relationship that will stand the test of time and not deliver you a heartache. So that's why it's so important um, to please deal with these energies because you have an amazing relationship coming in after this, after you get through this. Whew, I hope that does not resonate with a single one of you because that was a heavy, heavy, heavy reading. But if it does, like I said, please talk about your feelings. Please talk to somebody if, if um, it's too heavy for you. If you You guys hear this? My all and you. Oh my lord. Why are things to you?